hi friends welcome to Arpedia and for this video I am going to discuss about digital adaptive scholastic aptitude test better called as SAT examination which is conducted by college board and I should have been the mentor of SAT examination is going to start with the series of reading and writing for your SAT preparation so yes every time I'm going to come up with a new video it's going to be full of information through this video also I'm going to provide you some basic information about SAT and uh, what kind of you can say the exam structure is there uh, the categories from which every question pops up and last but not the least we are going to get a glimpse of the question also by the end of the video so stay tuned until the last so that you can solve the question with me now very first thing is what is the SAT examination all about and which are the who are the students who are to prepare this exam so very first thing you need to remember like uh, our Indian students they target need or J mains something like that for their UG courses similarly if you are preparing for bachelor of sciences in the foreign countries you go for the SAT examination like for all the UG courses you go for a SAT examination now it's called as a digital adaptive SAT because digital it's being brought to online mode adaptive because I would say it out the level of difficulty it varies it varies on the person who is giving the examination suppose the very first question you answered correctly so the next level of the question will be tough for you so the level goes from easier to the hardest hardest level so this is a way this is a journey it goes on Second thing I would say it out is that the countries which select the students through SAT mode is there are approximately 85 in number. The prominent which many of our Indian students target are you can call it out as USA, UK, uh, Netherlands, New Zealand, Canada, Japan and many more. The list goes on. So here I would say at the very start for all kind of information if you want more information related to SAT you can visit the website and the website speaks up and on that is www.collegeboard.org so you can visit the website for any detailed kind of information though the information which is required uh, for you guys I will always bring up through my videos and here I have already mentioned that which are the countries the prominent countries to name a few are USA, Canada, UK, Singapore, Netherlands, Australia, New Zealand all these are out of those approximately more than 85 countries which select a candidate through SAT examination now what is the sectional uh, if I talk about the verbal you have to prepare yourself for reading and writing also and for the mathematics that is a, your quant aptitude portion now reading and writing comprises of 54 questions right two sets will be there and they will be for 54 questions and maths comes for your 44 questions the exam time is approximately 2 hour and 14 minutes so the scores the scores is that the minimum of the score you get is your 400 maximum you get it out as as 1600 right so this is a score varies variation now uh, one very important thing uh, the students they come up that ma'am there is no negative marking of SAT examination true but that doesn't mean that the level of the examination is easier don't have a thought of it why because it is adaptive test as I told you so the level is going to be from easier to toughest level only and if you are going for the you are, if you are making mistakes in your question so the difficulty level will drop down and it will be low less difficulty otherwise the difficulty level will be higher one now uh, based on like what is being tested in your reading and writing portion I would suggest it out is that there are short reading passages and a multiple choice question is being asked out of it that a short reading passage is given to you out of which one MCQ question is given and you have to solve it out I'll also give you an option like what kind of a question is there after this first we need to discuss that what are the major content domains like if you ask ma'am reading and writing from which part it comes out the four major categories are these craft and structure information and ideas standard English conventions expression of ideas now these are the four major categories and in my next video I'm going to give a detailed analysis of these sections also so stay tuned for the next video where I'm going to bring up the next important the brief of these categories after this as I was mentioning you before also that what kind of a sample question and from which category is being chosen I will also tell you that now let's solve the question together and take a time you can also screenshot it and read it on your own let me speak up whenever you read a comprehension do remember that 
if there are punctuation marks you have to pause over those punctuation marks right and we will be solving this question with the elimination method right let's solve it out now to dye wool so it's for dyeing some kind of a wool now the viewer's name is lily taylor lily taylor uses plants and vegetables from arizona so plants and vegetables are used from countries given arizona places given so it's for dyeing the wool where she lives for example now they are giving some kind of a example over here she achieved the deep reds and browns featured in her 2003 rug so achievement is there of deep down this color in the path of four seasons by using what she used as arizona dog roots drying and grinding them before mixing the powder with water to create a dye bath now what kind of a dye bath was created how it was created to intensify the appearance of certain color taylor also sometimes mixes in clay obtained from the nearby soil so this much is given to you and you're being asked which choice best states the main idea of the text now what is the idea main idea of this text now when you we were reading this uh, little passage we understood it's about dyeing some kind of a wool and the achievement was of deep reds and browns uh, it was from arizona dock roots it was by grinding and mixing uh, dye bath was prepared and how to intensi uh, intensify the appearance of it um, mixes in a clay obtained from a nearby soil now you're provided with the four options the best method to solve it out is the elimination method what i mean by the elimination method is like suppose you are given a statement and you don't have much content of that statement cross it out that's not required let's read the first one reds and browns are not commonly featured in most tailor lugs now we don't know that are they featured are they not featured half of the information so this is not sure about it in the path of four seasons yes in the path of four seasons is widely acclaimed for its many colors and innovative weaving techniques oh we don't have idea about major innovative weaving techniques and all and we are not given much of the information we can't answer half of the information taylor draws on local resources and approach she uses to dye a wool now she uses to dye wool yeah she dyes the wool at the very start and she used local resources local resources like plants and vegetables yes it can be one so c is clearer let's find out d taylor finds it difficult to locate arizona dock root in the desert now she uh, it was mentioned arizona dock root and she was drying and grinding before mixing up but we don't have an idea that did she take some time or not so again half of an information only one complete information and the answer should be c1 now here the domain which we are targeting you understand we were targeting four different domains craft information standard english and expression of ideas so here we targeted the domain that was information and ideas so here you can read out the explanation c is the best answer the passage focuses on the idea that the artist lily taylor uses resources such as plants and vegetables from where she lives in arizona to make dyes for the wool now why the other options were eliminated the way we discussed a is incorrect because no evidence that reds and browns are the unusual color it offers an example of rug that does feature that these colors choice b is incorrect because it offers no indication d is incorrect because we don't have evidence so yeah this was all giving us half of the information and we cannot solve an answer only through half of the information so that is why what we selected was option c so here this was just a glimpse that yes this is going to be uh, the kind of questions we are going to solve in our further videos also i'm going to explain all those four categories in my next video so you have to stay tuned for the sequel and i hope you like the video and find it informative so stay tuned We'll meet next and take care and all the best. Bye-bye.